Good evening. Thanks for joining us here tonight at 10 as Governor Billy prepares to discuss additional options when choosing which school your child will attend next academic year. He's planning to introduce legislation that would help pay for thousands of students to go to private schools. WSMV Sharon Dangwa talked to parents today and some legislators about this controversial topic. And she joins us now in studio with what we know about the plan so far. Sharon. Morris Tracy, this proposal is supposed to give about 20,000 students all over a state the scholarship to go to a private school, but some say this only creates even more issues. It's something parents and legislators say has been looming for years, finding a way to help all students in Tennessee get a better education. For John Little, it's personal. My son's name is Carson. My other son's name is John. How do we make sure Carson and John get the best education? If we can send a man and woman to the moon, I think all kids deserve a great education to be able to live the American dream. And sadly, we just have not been seeing it. Governor Bill Lee in a way believes he's found that solution. And some representatives like Mark White agree. We would like to offer educational opportunity and choice to all students across the state, no matter what their family income and or their uh, uh, the particular status is. They're calling it the Education Freedom Scholarship Act, a proposal to give about $7,000 to 20,000 students all over the state, helping them attend a private school or better their education. There's too many children uh, locked into a system where uh, it is not serving them. And so this whole system is set up not to discriminate, to help the child that doesn't have the option that doesn't have maybe the parents or have the income that can send them to another school. But representatives like John Ray Clemens say the proposal will actually have the opposite effect. What you find with voucher programs in, in other states as well as Tennessee, an overwhelming majority of, this, of the students who use the vouchers are already in private school. So it's just a additional benefit or a tax break, essentially. Clemens says that $7,000 scholarship also barely covers tuition for most private schools and eventually takes money away from public schools. What you're looking at here is something that's ultimately going to only benefit, again, a select few and leave all the other children behind. So I asked White if that was true. Could this change eventually affect public schools? I think in the long term, you're, you're, you're exactly right. If a child is not enrolled in a public school, then that particular school would, would not get the money for that particular student. But while White says funding should be for children to get the best education, and if that's not happening, time is being wasted. John Little says everyone is missing the point. Go sit in a classroom in North Nashville or East Nashville. Go sit in a classroom in some of our wealthy uh, communities and see what are some of the things that are working in both and like get together and see how can we replicate that. As long as we keep saying this side or this side and not for and forgetting about the kids in the middle, we continue to lose. Governor Lee is set to break down his proposal tomorrow afternoon. Marius Tracy. Important discussion. Thank you so much, Sharon.